Meet your cochlear sound processor. He's built from super strong materials and full of advanced technology, but he's not invincible. And just like any piece of equipment, he needs regular care to help him help you hear your best. This video shows you how to get the best hearing performance out of your processor. It's important to keep your processor clean and free from moisture on the inside. So before bedtime, wipe the outside of the processor, as well as the cable and coil, with a soft dry cloth to prevent dirt building up. Then place it in the dry and store overnight to remove moisture from the inside. You can leave the cable and coil attached to the processor. Do this every night to prolong the life of your processor. You should also take the processor apart once a week, leaving the ear hook in place and clean it with a soft dry cloth. Gently tap or blow on the battery contacts and accessory port to remove dust. The microphones on the top of your processor have protective covers to keep dust and moisture out, but can get clogged over time. This will reduce sound, so change the microphone protectors regularly. Say every two to three months. Inside your dry and store is a dry brick that soaks up all the moisture like a sponge. But once it's full, it can't absorb any more. A dry brick that is wet on the inside can lead to your processor breaking down, so change the dry brick every two months. Make sure you buy the correct length cables, as tying them in a knot can break them. And the cables will have to be replaced. Finally, a few other tips to help your processor stay at the top of his game. If you are not using the Aqua accessory, he can withstand a few splashes, but he can't go swimming with you or share a shower. If he gets wet, wipe him down after and put him in your dry and store. Take him off before applying powder, makeup or hairspray. And please avoid getting sand or dirt into your processor. If you look after your processor, he'll look after you by delivering superb hearing for longer than you thought possible. Please refer to your sound processor user manual, the Cochlear website, or ask your clinician for more details about processor care.